Guerrilla BV, doing business as Guerrilla Games, is a Dutch first-party video game developer founded in 2000 as Lost Boys Games. Based in Amsterdam, Netherlands, it is a wholly owned subsidiary of Sony Interactive Entertainment. The company employs approximately 270 individuals, and is headed by managing director Herman Hulst. The developer is best known for its Killzone series, which is exclusive to PlayStation. The most recent game in the series, Killzone Shadow Fall, was released in North America on 15 November 2013. Horizon Zero Dawn, the company's third-person action role-playing game and first new intellectual property since 2004, was announced at Sony's E3 2015 press conference and released in early 2017 to commercial and critical success. It uses the proprietary game engine, Dichima, for game development. History Prior to its acquisition by Sony Computer Entertainment, Guerrilla Games was a subsidiary of the Dutch multimedia conglomerate Lost Boys, and operated under the moniker Lost Boys Games. The developer was formed as a result of a merger between three separate Dutch-based developers, including Orange Games, founded by Arjan Brussy, and Digital Infinity, founded by Arnout van der Kamp. Over the next three and a half years, Lost Boys Games would release four titles, two each for Nintendo's Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance handheld gaming consoles. In mid 2003, due to a variety of mergers and corporate reshuffling, the gaming unit was sold off to Media Republic, a media venture by original Lost Boys founder Mikhail Mole, and in July of that year was renamed to Guerrilla Games. The developer began work on its first two titles, Killzone, in development for Sony Computer Entertainment for the PlayStation 2, and Shellshock, Nom 67, in development for Eidos Interactive, for the PlayStation 2, Xbox and Microsoft Windows. Both titles would be released the following year to mixed reception, however Killzone enjoyed pre-release hype and anticipation, and despite some backfire effect due to the media hype, Killzone went on to sell over a million copies worldwide, earning greatest hits and platinum status in North America. America and Europe respectively. Guerrilla signed an exclusive development agreement with Sony Computer Entertainment in late 2004, that would see future development solely for Sony's line of video game consoles, the PlayStation 2, PlayStation Portable and PlayStation 3. Shellshock, Nom 67 sold over 900,000 copies worldwide. A sequel, Shellshock 2, Blood Trails, was developed by Rebellion Developments. In May 2005, the developer enjoyed more attention and interest, both positive and controversial, after the release of a pre-rendered trailer of its upcoming Killzone sequel, Killzone 2 for the PlayStation 3, at the unveiling of the console at Sony's press conference during the E3 video game trade show. In December 2005, Sony Interactive Entertainment announced the acquisition of Guerrilla Games from then-parent company Media Republic, making the developer a wholly owned first-party studio within the publisher. Guerrilla went on to release Killzone, Liberation for the PlayStation Portable in October 2006, Killzone 2 for the PlayStation 3 in February 2009, and Killzone 3 for the PlayStation 3 in February 2011. It was reported that Guerrilla was working on another first-person shooter game. On 24 February, co-founder and development director of studio Aryan Brussy, confirmed that he left the studio to work at Visceral Games on a new project. On 15 August 2012 at Sony's Gamescom press conference, Killzone, Mercenary was announced for the PlayStation Vita. It was developed by Guerrilla Cambridge, formerly SCE Cambridge. In February 2013, Guerrilla announced Killzone Shadow Fall, to be released on the PlayStation 4. On 15 June 2015, during E3 2015 Sony's press conference, Horizon Zero Dawn was announced. It was released for PlayStation 4 on February 28, 2017. Future On 18 July 2018 it was announced that Guerrilla Games would move to a new building at the Nuwazades Vorbergwall in early 2019. While Guerrilla Games currently employs about 250 people, they hope to expand to at least 400 employees with the new building. The expansion should also increase Guerrilla Games' output, with the studio hoping to release games based on both new IPs and games based on existing franchises once every two to three years. Topic. 
Products Video games Game engine The company launched a proprietary game engine Dichima in 2013. It is used in-house, and implements rendering, artificial intelligence, game physics, logics and incorporating world creation tools. <laughs>